Community matters, and we all know it's hot outside, but for the homeless, it can be brutal. NBC6's Lynn Vance tells us about a place that provides services to the homeless, and that's some good news. Hope House was opened in 2004 by the Church of the Holy Cross to provide services for Shreveport's homeless. It's not always somebody who's, you know, sleeping under the underpass or sleeping on the bench in the park. Um, if you are sleeping on your cousin's couch because you can't afford a house, you're homeless. You know, if you're sleeping in the back of your car, you're homeless. Lunch is offered each day, donated by different individuals, businesses, and churches. They provide a place to receive mail, wash and dry clothes, take a shower, and more. Our job and our goal here is to ensure that people don't have to turn to alternative means, uh, whether it be you know theft, prostitution, uh, whatever it might be, to meet their needs. When the homeless come here to Hope House, they get basic services, and the staff say they're like their friends. I greet people in the morning when they come in. We prepare coffee for them. I know them very well. They are just like friends to them. Some of them just like brothers. Nova's heart was already helping the pets of the homeless, but in 2019, they set up an office in Hope House. Uh, we provide dog food, cat food, blankets, collars, harnesses, leashes, uh, treats, toys. Father Garrett says they are grateful for those who help. You know, please come by. You know, you don't have to be a member of the church to volunteer here. For NBC6, I'm Lynn Vance. They're definitely doing good work there. And Lynn sits down with a formerly homeless woman that Hope House helped get off the streets. You can find this exclusive digital content on KTALnews.com. Just navigate to the KTAL Cares tab and choose the Lynn Vance Show.